Hello intrepid explorers of the modern age and welcome to the world of the Creatorholic. Here we go, down the garden to the den of creativity and the creative source within. Angels await us at the door. Hello, is there anybody there? Oh, hello. Oh, you've come to visit um, a creatorholic. Are you prepared? Yes, we're I hope you're not going to be shocked by what you see. Okay. Enter. This is the life of a sticky back plastic addict. <sighs> what can I say? I'm just hooked. All day I do it, snipping away. As you can see, I've got a good supply. see I spend quite a lot of my time cutting and snipping. It's just one of those things that I've come to accept. Some people are alcoholics, others are hooked on heroin. I'm just a sticky back plastic addict. waves and lines, with a swirling mass of nothingness. I don't know what I'm doing when I start. I just have to cut and snip. So I cut and snip, and then I reach that stage of ecstasy. It keeps me sane. It keeps me sane. It drives the troubles from my brain. transformation too. Uh, I see myself a bit like a modern day alchemist transforming these base materials, the plastic crap that is thrown from our society, transforming it into something beautiful. Using at the core of this manifestation the intent of creating something out of nothing from somewhere that is not me. Something in the deep grieving of the love that I had for this child, something awakened in me that um, got me on this uh, sticky back plastic uh, road. You know, I think I don't quite know what it's all about. Letting the flow move. 
as I say, what, what, uh, there's one particular group of works here that is called What's Left When All the Flowers Are Cut. And as you can see, they've got a lot of flowers cut out here. And then uh, there's loads more I've given them away. But these flowers, when you cut them out, they leave a shape, sort of like this. And I've got this whole series of addictive work called What's Left When the Flowers Are Cut. And these, these are all, um, are all, uh, all what's left when the flowers are cut. All of them. One's down there. Oh, these two over here, a bit of flowers cut in there. Yeah. <laughs> we, we like cutting flowers. Flowers are very good to cut. But, but it's quite a zen thing because what is left when all the flowers are cut? And what is left for me, there's an empty space. because I can't fill enough uh, bits of plastic. I've gone on to tea trays now. This is my latest addiction. I, um, I've got quite a few out in the garden that I got from scrap store. I think I'm going to take one everywhere I go because I can whack them out. <laughs> but it's like this. <laughs> oh, yes. Tea trays and tables. I've gone up into the uh, furniture design now, you know. So, <laughs> oh! Do come in, would you like to buy something? So there we go. So I hope you have um, enjoyed your um, your uh, insights into a creator holic's life, a creator holic's life, and have not been too overpowered by the intense feelings that you may have experienced. Um, should anybody um, feel that they have a similar addiction as myself, then I wish you good luck with it. And that you, the main thing is, if you love, when you love doing it and you do it, it really doesn't matter what happens to it. Yeah. You know, some people sort of smoke up loads of this and that and this and that. And what have they got to show for it? Nothing. Look, 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 look what my addition is bringing. <laughs>